I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! Beyonce has finally spoken out against Jay-Z and P. Diddy in one of her songs. We're going to be talking about that. Shout out to Clarence Paris for sending me their new lip oil. Mmm. Love it so much. Not sponsored, although I should be. It's pretty cute. This is in shade Honey. And uh, the lip filler I got is um, mm -hmm, settling in very nicely. Oh, so uh, before I get to all the drama, I will link that in the YouTube shop. Also, a cryo facial right here. Clarence Paris. I got this in PR today, too. You put this on, your face goes from zero to 100 in coldness. It feels like you're in the Arctic blast. Your face gets super cold. And because I live in Houston, Texas, it's hotter than a hooker in hell over here. So I was like, wait, a face mask that makes your face feel freezing cold? Yes, sign me up. So I have that on underneath here because you leave it on and you just wipe it off. So my skin looks extra glowy and plump. It's because of this. And I'll leave it down below in the YouTube shop as well if you want to check it. It's not cheap. It's like $80 or something like that. So thank you, Clarence Paris, for the PR. All right. So Beyonce has spoken out against Jay-Z and P. Diddy. We're going to be talking about that in just a moment. But I do want to give a little history lesson. Okay. Now, Cassie, before P. Diddy, back in her MySpace days, she used to date a guy named Ryan Leslie. Now, you may know him because he had produced the song You and Me and all that stuff like that. Her, Cassie and Ryan Leslie dated for a while and I think after a year, she broke up with him and started seeing P. Diddy. Well, all of a sudden, Ryan Leslie just like disappeared. His laptop was missing and stolen. All his songs got wiped from the internet. And people were saying that P. Diddy had something to do with it. Now, it also seems like there was some intimidation going on, and that's why that happened. But I will say this, because I found this receipt that can break it down better than I can. And when I found out this receipt, I could not believe it. So shout out to Cinematic for calling out the P. Diddy basically bullying Ryan Leslie off the internet and stealing Cassie away from Ryan Leslie. It's very, it's very shocking. So let's start there because it's gonna be a pattern of behavior later on in the year with the whole P. Diddy situation. Then we're gonna talk about Beyonce finally speaking out against P. Diddy and Jay-Z. Here we go, roll it. The street is Diddy might have had something to do with Cassie's ex, Ryan Leslie, disappearing from the music industry. I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! If there's anything we know about Diddy now after all the drama is that back then he got what he wanted and what he wanted was Cassie. So it really didn't matter to him that she was already with someone else. So Ryan and Cassie met in 2004 when she was 18 years old and he was 26. They met in a club when Cassie was still a model and he was writing and producing songs for top artists in the industry. I say, um, I love Cassie. I love her. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I fell in love with her. I fell in love with the music. I fell in love with her family. Um, and but get this. Cassie was actually introduced to Ryan by Diddy's makeup artist who had worked with her on a modeling shoot. So even though she hadn't personally met Diddy at the time, she was around people who were working for him. But anyways, Ryan and Cassie quickly hit things off and began dating. Ryan continued to work as a singer, songwriter, and producer, while Cassie continued her modeling career. But things changed in February of 2004 when Cassie's mom asked her to record a song for her as a birthday gift. Now, now, up until then, Cassie was not a singer. She was focused on modeling. But when she and Ryan recorded the song for her mom called Kiss Me, it was immediately obvious that she had some talent. In 2005, Ryan was frustrated with where his career was going. Though many people in the industry knew his name, he wasn't releasing the kind of hits he wanted to be releasing. When you look at the numbers, though, I only sold 180,000 records. Mm -hmm. My for first both album. Or the first album? Okay. First album, only 180,000. That's not even scratching wow. gold, okay. right? Right. So he knew he needed to switch up his game if he was going to be at the level he wanted to be, so he decided to go on MySpace. Now, at the time, Ryan knew an account of a beautiful girl was more likely to grab attention than any account of his, so he opened an account for Cassie on MySpace, and it blew up pretty quick. Now that he had the attention of hundreds of thousands of people, he wanted to figure out a way to convert them to fans, so he had Cassie record a song he had written called Me and You. He put the song on MySpace, and boy did it blow up and before you knew it everyone knew who he and Cassie were and I think everyone knew who I was based on the fact that I had a record with Cassie mm -hmm. Cassie 
was really the big record. That was top 10 in eight countries, you know what I mean? And this is where Diddy came in. Diddy heard Cassie's Me and You playing in the club one day, and he wanted to know who it was. And since he was already working with Ryan Leslie for Bad Boy Records, it wasn't hard to find out that it was Cassie. Now at the time, Cassie was signed on to Ryan's record label, Next Selection Imprint. And somehow Ryan managed to convince Diddy to partner his Bad Boy Records with his Next Selection Imprint for the release of Cassie's debut albums. And that's how Diddy met Cassie. But things didn't immediately become romantic between Diddy and Cassie. She stayed with Ryan for a while, and he even produced her second album. But before her second album could come out, things between her and Ryan ended, and she moved on with Diddy. It's on your hands. People get excited about the product. People fall in love with the product. And Puffy fell in love with Cassie. And that's his girlfriend today. Diddy and Cassie quickly became an internet sensation. They were always photographed out and about, smiling, having fun, and generally just looking like a good couple. But while they were having fun, Ryan was hitting rock bottom. When Ryan was asked what went down to cause a rift between him and Cassie, he said a lot of things came up during their relationship that caused a rift between them. While Ryan refused to say exactly what happened between them, what people did notice was that he seemed to disappear not long after that. Not long after he and Cassie ended their relationship, Ryan had his music stolen. Well, it wasn't his music, but his laptop, which had all of the new music he was working on. So without the laptop, he couldn't release any new music. And after that, he began to slowly withdraw from the music industry. It was so bad that Ryan pulled all of his music off streaming services and completely vanished. And now fans are pointing the finger at Diddy. This one fan said, I, with all the news that's come out about Diddy, would it be illogical to think that perhaps he had something to do with Ryan Leslie's laptop going missing because of his relationship with Cassie? I thought we already established that Puffy blocked Ryan Leslie in every way possible because he definitely has the talent, another fan added. All right, grab a snack and come on back. All right. So I have a little bit of eyeshadow on, just like just like a, a smudge, and I use the brand new palette I got. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. It's, a, it's oh my god, you you guys know I'm a, a label whore, but look how pretty this palette is. I'm obsessed. So I'll link that in the YouTube shop as well. I have it on right here, but I also use some of these browns in here to just like contour the nose a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's talk because i feel like we need to talk so beyonce people are now saying that she has spoken out against jay-z and p diddy okay and when i found that out i was like oh no now this was shout out to the veteran because they posted that now again let's not forget that p diddy and jay-z have been friends for over 10 years now that's a long time to be friends and i feel like they're in cahoots with a lot of this drama and beyonce knows it and she is slowly distancing her way from jay-z now even some rumors are circulating in hollywood that jay-z and beyonce are not even staying in the same house mm -hmm. and he's been very quiet mm -hmm. they're practically best friends jay-z and p diddy without saying they're best friends you know what i'm saying um We'll see how this goes, but let me roll you the clip from the veteran. Here we go, roll it. Allegedly breaks her silence on Jay-Z and Diddy through her new track. Here's what we know. Beyonce's highly anticipated album, Cowboy Carter, has been making waves, particularly her cover of Dolly Parton's classic song, Jolene. Although praised as a creative twist to the cheating anthem, the Houston native's rendition has started a lively debate among critics and fans alike. For starters, Beyonce's version features significant lyrical changes, including an added bridge and a duet with country singer Willie Jones. In Beyonce's interpretation, she warns Jolene instead of pleading with her, as Parton did in the original. But how exactly does Jay-Z and Diddy fit into this? To understand, we need to talk about the two music moguls' relationship. Diddy and Jay-Z's friendship dates back to the early 1990s, when they were both rising stars in the rap industry. They collaborated on tracks and supported each other through legal troubles since the late 1990s. More recently, an allegation against Diddy being involved in sexual misconduct have led some to wonder about the current state of his friendship with Jay-Z, as Jay has stayed quiet on the matter. Despite the occasional controversy, Jay-Z Jay-Z and Diddy have remained close friends. They have voiced support for each other publicly and even discussed going into business together. However, throughout their entire working relationship, there have been a few suspicions about the pair being more than just friends. Back in 2007, there was an incident where Diddy appeared to touch Jay-Z's butt during a performance, a gesture that's a little too close for comfort. And over on YouTube, there have been unsubstantiated speculations and claims circulating online about the two rappers allegedly having an affair. Obviously, these allegations have not been verified, but fans couldn't help but 
but wonder how this actually fits the timing of Beyonce releasing another cheating anthem so mysteriously. In fact, as her song opens with a cameo from Parton herself, there is a clear association between her experience with Jolene and Beyonce's with Becky with the good hair from her 2016 album Lemonade. Where Parton's version emphasizes vulnerability and charm, Beyonce showcases grit and a warning shot to her rival. The reaction to the song has been divided. Some critics argue that Beyonce misses the point of Parton's ballad, flattening it into a girl boss power anthem. They grieve over the loss of the original sense of pain and vulnerability. However, others praise Beyonce's innovative approach, seeing it as a reflection of her black identity and a defense of her marriage. In a post-release message, Parton wrote, Wow, I just heard Jolene. Beyonce is giving that girl some trouble and she deserves it. But again, who's to say it's really a girl? All of this might sound pretty far-fetched for Jay-Z. However, this isn't the first time Diddy has been accused of having been attracted to men. In fact, Diddy's latest lawsuit brings this up a couple of times. Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a music producer who worked with Sean Diddy Combs on his 2023 album, The Love Album, Off the Grid, has filed a whopping $30 million lawsuit accusing the mogul of sexual assault, harassment, and other misconduct. In the 75-page complaint, Jones alleges that while living with Diddy for months at a time in various homes and on a yacht to work on the album, he was the victim of constant unsolicited and unauthorized groping and touching of his ain't by Mr. Combs. Jones claims he woke up naked, dizzy, and confused in bed with Diddy and two sex workers in February 2023, believing he had been drugged. In the lawsuit, Jones also claims that Diddy had a sexual relationship with a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. This revelation quickly pointed to Meek Mill, a fellow rapper who fit the description to a T. Initially, Meek Mill denied the rumors, posting a series of messages on social media where he expressed his love for women and criticized those who were spreading the rumor. Mill has also responded to the allegations by accusing Lil Rod Jones of lying and attempting to destroy his reputation. As of now, the truth is up for grabs. Ugh, guys, I'm telling you, after all that, I need to fix my lip gloss, seriously. The thing is, with Beyonce, is this is how, this is what I feel like. If you've been noticing, Beyonce has been coming out with hair care, album, tours, fragrances, these little floppy businesses. <laughs> I digress. But I'm like, why is she working so hard? Is it to get her coins and get away from Jay-Z? I have a feeling that that relationship, Jay-Z and Beyonce, is more business than pleasure. I, I have a feeling about that. Beyonce, she has a type. I know Beyonce has a type. I have seen the type Beyonce likes. And let me tell you, it's not Jay-Z. She's with Jay-Z, in my opinion, for status and financial. And because of that, probably protection. But those house of cards are falling down. And let me tell you what, I am ready to see a new Beyonce single at it again and dating and a whole new album and so much more. I want a EDM version of Beyonce. I want a Beyonce Megan Thee Stallion collab, a Beyonce Cardi B collab, a Beyonce Glorilla collab. Like I want, I want Beyonce to form a girl group with them girls, okay? And do, and go on tour and do that one album that one, that one and done, right? Beyonce will announce I'm going on tour with Megan, Glorilla, Ice Spice. Get all the rap girls together, form a girl group, and do one and done album, one world tour. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's it, let's go. I would love to see that. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine if it was Beyonce, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, okay? Oh my god, can you, the power? Can we say girl power? Okay, you made this far in the video, comment down below girl power and comment down below. And also, if you made this far, can you get a like on this video? I can't get a like to save my life. What is going on, guys? Anyways, let me let you go. I got a, um, uh, I have a vagina, what is it called? Vagina rejuvenation appointment to go to. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.